since we have been talking about the competence of test user and uh, the certifications which they can get, but there are some very important issues in assessment which we are going to be looking into it now. The first important thing is test construction. Uh, since we use frequently different type of tests which are being developed by international affiliates and we adapt them either or we translate them either and use them in local setting. But there come situations where we are stuck with those tests and we find that they are culturally loaded and there are so many other barriers involved into it and we have to develop the test. So psychologists who develop tests and other assessment techniques use appropriate psychometric procedures. It's not that the questions we will generally collect and randomly apply them to our sample and our test will survey. There are different psychometric pro, uh, procedures which are involved into test construction. Current scientific or professional knowledge is used for test design, standardization, type of validations, reduction or elimination of biases and recommendations for use. So we need to see what item is statistically going to be deleted from the list of questionnaires uh, by using reliability analysis and it's very specific component item if alpha deleted. And then we have to see which items factor loading is good enough to keep that into the test. What factor loadings in social sciences we are going to look for. The ideal one is probably 0 0.60, but we, if we can't achieve to that way, we have to see according to the test construct, it would be 0.35 or 0 0.40. So you know, there are a lot of psychometric analysis involved in making a test. It's not that a simple thing. We just randomly collect the items and we go to uh, population to apply that questions onto them. Interpreting assessment result, while interpreting assessment results, psychologists take into account the purpose of assessment because it is very important as well as the other test factors and the individual characteristics of the person who is performing into the test and who is being assessed such as the situational factors may affect the person, then the personal factors may assess the person and then the linguistics have its impact on the test and the cultural differences can create a impact on the test users. So, jaga, work, mahal, uski internal intrinsic motivation or bahut sare aise cultural differences ho sakte hain jo us test ko impact kar sakte hain. So, it is very important that while interpreting the in, uh, assessment result, one have to take into account all these factors. So here it's very important to talk about that what if the assessment is being done by an unqualified person who is not aware of the fact that all these things matter a lot. So psychologists do not promote the use of psychological assessment technique by unqualified persons except where the test is being conducted for training purposes with appropriate supervision. So ye itna koi asan kaam nahi hai ke anyone could come in walk in and apply a test and interpret the result. We need the specialized person who has some degree in uh, assessment and psychometrics or wohi log test ko properly interpret kar sakte hain. Now what if the test is an obsolete test and it's an outdated test? Definitely it's going to produce obsolete and outdated results. Psychologists do not base their assessment or intervention decisions, recommendation reports, data, results on the basis of those tests who are being outdated for the current purpose and obsolete and not useful for the current purpose. Now you may be thinking that how can a test become an obsolete test? Here I would like to give you one example of Weiss intelligence test. When we talk about Wessler adult intelligence test and Weiss Wessler intelligence test for children, we know that jab ye test bane the, उस वक्त इनके जो टेस्ट के क्राइटेरिया थे और जो एज रेंज थी उसमें वो टेस्ट इनिशियली एक प्रोबेबली 8 साल के बच्चे के लिए जो आईक्यू का टेस्ट था वो आज उसके आइटम्स एक 2 एंड अ हाफ ईयर का बच्चा भी सॉल्व कर सकता है बिकॉज़ ऑफ वर्ल्ड बीइंग एन ग्लोबल विलेज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रॉपर डिसेमिनेशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन तो वो एज रेंज 8 से कम होकर 5 पे आई 4 पे 3 एंड अ हाफ पे एंड रिसेंटली वो 2.5 इयर्स का बच्चा भी आज वो नॉलेज रखता है जो आज से 50 साल पहले प्रोबेबली एक 9 साल का बच्चा रखता था सो दिस इज हाउ द वर्ल्ड हैज चेंज द नॉलेज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हैज चेंज 
and in result to that certain test has become obsolete and ab hum uh, unko is tarah se interpret nahi kar sakte jis tarah hum unko bahut saal pehle karte the so probably because of different change because of the cultural advancement and you know um, information about the other parts of the world things have become changed now and many tests have been obsolete and now we can't use them anymore and on the basis of those tests we need to you know keep going on revising those tests aur puri duniya mein teston ki revised version isiliye aate hain but in any case if we are not available with the revised version it is very unethical to use the older version and yet claim that this is the result of any specific test which is being internationally recognized